Monica. So today's video, I am trying out my favorite YouTuber's favorite products. My favorite YouTuber of all time, in case you're living under a rock or you are new to my channel, is Jessica Braun. I love her. I love her personality, her content, just everything, okay? I just love everything. If you don't know who Jessica is, she is a content creator in Indiana, which is super cool for me because I have a lot of family from Indiana. She's just super bubbly, she's super down to earth, girl next door, lifestyle, beauty, a bunch of different miscellaneous stuff. She and her husband have the cutest vlogs. I love it. So I've been watching her for a very long time and it's about time that I tried a whole face of her favorites. So today I am trying out all these products that she's raved about and they're all on my face right now, and I would say that I'm still looking pretty good. Yeah, if you are ready to see what I think of all these products, then just go ahead and keep watching. Also, I'm in my new filming space. I'm so excited. Look how good it looks, guys. It looks so good. I'm gonna put some more stuff over here. We're gonna have a little bit more decoration, but I finally have designated area to film, and I'm pretty excited about it. I wanted to point out because it's taking me forever to get to the actual video. I'm wearing one of Jessica's merch shirts. It's no longer selling. She's the only YouTuber I've ever bought merch from, so that should tell you something. I really like her. I don't just buy shirts from like random people I watch. But yeah, I'm all themed out today. I'm coming to you from my filming room. I have a filming room now. It is the office space, actually. Actually, it's a third bedroom. That's what it's listed at in the apartment catalog thing, but we're using it as an office, so there will be more stuff on the walls and we'll have like a futon and stuff, but I finally got a desk. I got a better ring light. So I'm super excited because I've been wanting this since we moved in. I've actually been wanting this since I started my channel, but couldn't do it then. So we finally got like a desk. I got a better ring light that's holding my phone. <laughs> And I just like, I'm super pumped, I'm super excited. But you will see more fun things go on the wall and it won't look so bland and like dorm room-like. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm Jessica Bronze, my favorite YouTuber on the entire platform, trying out an entire face of her favorite products. So I did some extensive research. I didn't have to do that much extensive research. I watch her so much that frankly, I just knew off the top of my head what kind of things she liked, obviously. So I have an entire face. I'm super excited because Jessica and I have completely different skin. She's got like normal to dry skin with barely anything to cover, which I'm very jealous of. My skin is actually doing pretty well right now, but I have combination sensitive skin. So I'm hoping that some of these things won't break me out. We'll find out, but yeah, I'm super excited. So let's just go ahead and jump into it guys. So obviously the first thing I'm starting off with because I'm weird, is eyeliner and I am trying out one of her cult favorites, the Renaissance Flick Liner by Makeup Revolution. This package is super pretty. I've been wanting to try this for a while now and this video gave me a perfect excuse to do it. Here is what it looks like outside of the little plastic holder thing and this is what the tip looks like. It looks like it's a little felt tip liner. I like brush tip liners that are in the shape of a felt tip more, but I am excited to try this. So let me just go ahead and do it. So this is a little bit stiffer than what I'm used to, but this is super black and I'm very excited for the intensity of this liner. Most of the things that I use or have tried have been Jessica's recommendations. So a lot of other things that she said and told me about, told us about as an audience, I have tried and incorporated into my daily routine. So that is super black. I really like how intense that is. It also looks like it's drying down to a satin matte, which I like. I don't like super shiny. Typically I wear more satin mattes because I don't have a lot of matte eyeliners out there that I found that I actually like. So yeah, so far so good. I just finished the eyeliner and I really like it. I did have to get used to the felt tip because it was a little bit stiffer than I'm used to, but I really like the intensity of it. It went on very easily. So yeah, Jess, thanks so much for a great recommendation yet again. Obviously, I'm gonna go into mascara next. I've tried every mascara that she's recommended besides this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. This is actually a really 
hefty sized large container. I like Essence mascaras a lot. I like Essence, L'Oreal, and also Maybelline. I feel like that they really do a good job in the mascara department. So she raved about this a lot last year. She's really into the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal right now, but she did like this one a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it. Normally I would wear mascara primer, but she doesn't really wear those, so I'm not gonna wear it. Wow, it makes my eyelashes look super long initially. I mean, I have relatively long eyelashes to start off with, but this is really emphasizing them. So on the first coat, it's definitely lengthening them. Not so much on the volume, but Jessica talks about how the second and third coat of mascara that really makes the difference. And I kind of follow the same rules, so I'm not really bothered that it's just doing length right now. It's really lengthening these lashes. second layer is really pumping them up. I really like Essence mascaras. I just feel like they're so inexpensive and if you can find such a great set of mascaras from a brand that's so inexpensive, I feel the need to spend like $30 on a mascara or more. Yeah, that second layer is really building it up. One more coat. Oh yes. All right, this is definitely building up the more you put it on. Oh, this looks so good. Woo, I'm liking this a lot. Here is the mascara. My lashes are super pumped up. I'm so excited about it. That looks so good. I'm distracted by them. Yeah, definitely two and three mascara coats on that one. Most mascaras need a couple of coats unless you just really like the natural look. I don't, so. I'm gonna pump it up a little bit with multiple layers. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is actually face primer so I can let it sit while I do my eyeshadow. She doesn't wear face primer every single day. She's mentioned that. I do, it's just, I do feel like face primer helps my makeup last for an extended period of time. So I do have two different ones here. One is more pore filling that she likes and then one is a little bit more glowy. So the one that's more pore filling is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. This one I actually initially heard about from Taylor Wynn, who I also watch, and that's how Jessica got onto it. I really like this. It's actually very mattifying to me. Um, I do like the e.l.f. Putty Primer a little bit better, just because I feel a little bit more sad. But I do like this one, so I'm going to take some pumps on the back of my hand. Well, not some, just like half a pump. And I'm just going to go in on my nose, my chin, like right here. You know, your typical T-zone. This is a really good primer though, if you do want to be ratified. Like if you have super oily skin, definitely look into this. I don't have super oily skin, so I will, th I do think I might like this more in like the summer because obviously I sweat more. It does really do a good job of filling in your pores and just kind of smoothing out the area. There's somebody who keeps like running by here or driving by, I don't know, but it keeps freaking me out because I keep thinking that somebody's in my bushes. <laughs> yeah, I really do like that primer. I think I'm gonna start using it more because actually I think maybe I used too much. That was just enough to like just smooth out some pores. I mean, smooth out some skin, fill in some pores, so yeah. The next primer I'm gonna be trying out is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. It says it has a pore minimizing effect. I'm not gonna put this where I just put that other primer. I'm just gonna put it on like the outer realms of my face. I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. It's a little bit of like a nude peachy tone color. That's not really important. I just felt like describing it to you. I'm gonna put it right here. This is normally what I do with glowy primers. I don't like to put them in the middle of my face. I just like literally put that directly into my hair. Way to go. I'm gonna put like the rest down my neck and just, ooh, this smells good. I do like glow more than I used to. I used to be like all matte, but I did have oilier skin when I was a little bit younger and I wanted it to be completely matte. I wanted to look like I had absolutely no dimension to my face, apparently. <laughs> I really like both of those primers. I already knew how I felt a little bit about the Revlon one, but I do think I'm gonna try to use this some more and, you know, just kind of see. The Essence one I like a lot. 
I feel like I'm gonna be using this one a lot to really bring some life back to my face on the outer parts. So yeah, I mean, so far so good. She doesn't really use eye primer every day, but she did get me onto the Makeup Revolution Core Primer. It's a lot like the MAC Paint Pots and also the Wet n Wild Shade in Brulee. So I am gonna use this because I do like to use eye primers. I have extremely like pinky, veiny eyelids and I like to like cover those up. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those on and I figured it would be fine that they'd be in this video because I started using them based on her recommendation anyway. Now that my eyelids are all canceled out, it is time for eyeshadow. And one that Jessica has been raving about recently is the frick dude that scared the crap out of me. One eyeshadow quad that Jessica has been raving about recently is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Rosewater. I have been eyeing these actually since they came out, but I wasn't sure if I wanted them. But you know what? Rosewater is gorgeous, so we're just going to do that. So I'm just going to take this Moda eyeshader brush, and I'm going to go into this matte shade right here and just kind of dip into it. It's a gorgeous, like, muted mauve rose rosy color, so I'm pretty excited. Kind of goes with the shirt that Jessica created. I actually really do like Elf's eyeshadows, especially ones that have come out like within the past year. I really like the new Classics palette, which Jessica is the one who made me buy that. I should have a video that says everything that Jessica Braun made me buy. I really trust Jessica's opinion on things. She's just no nonsense. She doesn't say something's good when it's not. I really like this color. Oh, they're so pretty. She just, I mean, with her, I don't feel like she's just trying to get in good with like a company or something by just saying, oh, well, yeah, it's pretty good and then never using it again. Like when she says something's good, you see her using it repeatedly, which I like because then I actually know that she actually likes it. That looks really good. I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit. I like how blendable this eyeshadow is. It, that's a really pretty color. Like, I don't think I own anything that's that quite that color. I have mobs, but this is like just so pretty. These are only $3 too, so you know. Thanks Jessica for saving my wallet. I really wanted to do this video for me. Like, I just really like her and I thought it would be fun. And you know, quarantine is boring, so this is making me more entertained and happier. Now I'm gonna go into this first shimmer shade right here. You can see I swatched them. And I'm just gonna take it on the lid. This is gonna be just a really easy eyeshadow look. And I'm gonna take it on my finger, just like I always do with shimmers. And just like, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love that. That is so pretty. What a nice, easy eyeshadow look that is just gorgeous. Most elf shimmers that I've worked with aren't quite as sparkly. Not that I mind that, but this is nice. I think that Jessica has mentioned that she sometimes just will like throw this on her lid and then, you know, go about her day. I do like a little bit of matte eyeshadow because of my eye shape. She has a lot more lid room than I do. But this is, would be a really pretty color if you can just get away with wearing one eyeshadow. I mean, I could get away with wearing one eyeshadow. I just want to wear more than one eyeshadow. This is such a pretty shade. It's not even picking up on camera. Like, in person, this is gorgeous. So, this is the final eye look. I really like it. It isn't picking up nearly as much on camera as it is in person. Like, the sparkle or the glitter but or the shimmer whatever the right word is my goodness but it looks super pretty i like how it makes my eyes look i just really really like this so far this is great i know they have some other shade like collections in this line so if you are interested in it definitely check it out it's only three bucks now we're getting into face products i have a couple of foundations here i have two of the misha bb creams and then the covergirl simply ageless three-in-one foundation i'm not sure what i'm gonna do here <laughs> i bought two of the misha ones because everybody that was in the reviews was saying 23 is super gray i don't have a super gray undertone i have like 
I mean, I have like kind of a neutral, but it pulls more warm. I mean, I think that's what I've been told. This is number 23. We're going to look at that in a second. And then I have number 27, which is supposed to be a lot darker. So let's just see here. In the CoverGirl one, I got the shade Classic Ivory. I just feel like I'm Classic Ivory. <laughs> so I know that Jessica also likes these two combined. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do one side with the two BB shades combined and then one with the Nisha BB cream and the Olay CoverGirl one combined. The way that I typically apply my foundation now, if you've been watching me, is the Tati Beauty Blendiful. I love this. I think I get the most coverage and it just looks the nicest. But I did want to incorporate one of Jessica's favorite sponges. Her most recent favorite sponge is from Shop Miss A, but I don't have that one and it would take a really long time to get it right now because of the virus and everything. So I am going to use the L'Oreal one. She likes this one as well. It was her longtime favorite, so I figured that this was okay. <laughs> I'm going to use this one for concealer. She also recommended this one like a year and a half ago, and that's why I own it. So with one side, I am going to apply just with the sponge, which I never do, but that is how she prefers it. And I want to see like how it looks like that. And then on the other side, I'm going to use my Tati Beauty Blendiful. So let's just see what we're working with here on the BB cream and foundation situation. That is shade... 27 way too dark for me right now but i knew that was probably going to be the case the shade 23 definitely gray i could see that but maybe with those two together i could be okay right so i mixed the misha bb cream that might be still a little bit dark we'll see what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the misha bb cream and put it on the right side of my face and go in with the l'oreal sponge and see how that works out i'm going to swipe it on my face like this yeah, this is a little bit dark. So we're gonna go in with another uh, thing of the lighter one to try to <laughs> fix this. Kayla Wynn also reviewed this particular BB cream in her like after 2019 trying all my favorite YouTubers favorite makeup video. And she did say that it was a little bit lighter on the coverage. It's not bad coverage for a BB cream, so we'll see. So far, it's very light coverage, and I have some acne scars to cover, but I do know that Jessica likes lighter coverage, so that just might be what we're dealing with today. It's not like I'm going anywhere anyway. Watch me, like, need to go to the grocery store later or something after I just said that. <laughs> It's kind of building up now. This is definitely not the perfect color match for me. I feel like maybe 25 would be, but I couldn't get 25 because they didn't have it. So we're just making do. I might have to build up some more coverage. I do like the finish of it, it's nice. I am kind of getting it to medium coverage now. I do think actually building up the coverage helps if you go directly onto the palette with your sponge, if you do prefer to apply it with a sponge. I think the next time I try this, I will use it with my Tati Beauty Blendiful and see if maybe I'll get more coverage like that. I built it up, my hair looks crazy now. I built it up to about a high medium. It looks pretty good. The color is definitely too dark, but I don't mind the way it looks, especially for a BB cream. It's very smooth. Next, I'm gonna go in, of course, with the CoverGirl and then the darker shade of the Misha BB cream. And if we have to add the lighter shade, we will. This is very moussey. Actually, both of these are kind of moussey. I might even have to darken it to match the other side of my face. I'm gonna go in, of course, on the left side with my Tati Beauty Blendiful. And let's see here. Oh, that smells weird. It smells almost kind of like soggy, fruity pebbles. Maybe it's like the mix of the candlelit smell and the foundation. These are a little bit different colors, so I might have to go in with the second layer with a little bit of the Misha to darken it. So initially, I do think that those two combined are a little bit higher coverage. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the Misha in number 27 and try to darken it so it does match the other side. I do realize that this is not my shade, so please don't say anything about it. I think that helped a little bit, which is good. So I just finished with this side, which is the CoverGirl and Olay and Misha together. I think I got a pretty good like match on both sides so I don't walk around with 
two different colors on my face. I like them. Remember, Jess and I have very different skin types and very different skin preferences. So I do like a little bit more of a satin finish with full coverage. So it took a lot to build up this side and I can't quite get one little scar over here covered that you can see. It's not terrible, but it's not my favorite. I do like the glowiness of it. If I did want just like something quick, I do like that, but it isn't my favorite. Just keep in mind that if you like this kind of like do and you like super simple, not a whole lot of coverage, then these are great. This does have more coverage than most BB creams, so I like that, but it definitely is lower coverage for, it's like some creepy old man just walking outside my apartment. Okay, but for BB creams, they do have really nice coverage. This one, the smell bothers me. I don't know if it's just like, no, it's definitely that. You know what it smells like? It smells like medicinal, but like mixed with something else. So now I am gonna go in with, of course, concealer. And one that Jessica really liked last year is the Benefit Boing Mascara. I got this in the shade number three. How cute is this? This is a little pencil eraser. I love that. So I am going to put this under my eyes. Pretty nice little doe foot, but not as big as the heart shape tape, which I don't like. I don't exactly know how much coverage this provides. So we're just gonna kind of go in lightly and then build up from there. So I am gonna go into this little L'Oreal concealer sponge. Pretty much everything in my life makeup wise and lifestyle is from her. And also my all time favorite face wash was a recommendation from her as well as Taylor Wynn, which is the CeraVe or CeraVe, I don't really exactly know how to pronounce it. Hydrating facial cleanser. This looks super good. I like that a lot. I do get a lot of my concealer recommendations from Jessica because I don't like super matte or anything like that, which is what a lot of the bigger YouTubers like. I just want like enough to cover my darkness. I mean, I'm 23, so I have minimal darkness. And my favorite is the Flower Beauty Concealer. But I trust Jessica when it comes to concealers because she and I have similar preferences there. It looks really good. I really like the way this looks. I look way tanner than I am because my foundation is too dark, but that's okay. Now it is, of course, time for under eye powder. And one that Jessica has really been raving about recently is the number seven translucent perfect light pressed powder. So I'm going to have some super bright under eyes today. I thought that my foundation was going to be a little bit lighter. That's okay. So typically I go in with a sponge or this to set my under eye. So I am going to go in with this. She goes in with a brush, but I don't have the kind of brush that she goes in with because I never ever use them. So I'm just going to make sure I don't have any creasing and then we're going to hop into the powder. This didn't crease very much. That's nice. Jessica's favorite thing about this is that it blurs. Wow. And it really does. That's super great. Wow, this is so neat at how well it blurs. I love that. This is looking super nice and smooth. All right, so I like the way that applied. So I am gonna go into a loose powder. She doesn't wear a loose powder every day, but I do because I have different skin type than she does. But one that she does like is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And I haven't used this in a minute, but I do like it a lot. And I'm gonna get it on my L'Oreal sponge and just put it like in my smile lines and all that kind of stuff. While I let this sit, we're gonna go into eyebrows. This one I'm a little scared of because I ordered the taupe shade in the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil, which she loves. And this is apparently the color taupe. Does this look taupe to anybody else? They did not have a blonde color, which unfortunately is not surprising. They just had taupe, like they had a blonde color, I think, but it was like light blonde and that won't work. Of course, this isn't gonna work either. So I'm just gonna try to apply a little bit of it. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna get my CoverGirl brow pencil that actually I started using because Jessica recommended it. So I feel like that's okay. And we'll just finish it with that because I don't wanna walk around with orange looking eyebrows. Finally got this sucker open. Really don't think this is going to work. So we're just gonna try it so I can say I tried. 
But if it doesn't work, I am gonna switch to the cover of a one because there's no way I'm gonna walk around with creepy looking eyebrows. Oh yeah, no. See that line? It's freaking orange. Sorry, Jess, I tried, but I'm gonna switch to another eyebrow pencil that you like in the right shade. So now that I have my eyebrows on and they look normal, sorry that I couldn't use the LA Girl one. When it came in, I was super disappointed because I actually really wanted to try the formula. So when Ulta opens and it's safe to go back outside, I will go and check to see if I can find a shade. But for now, it's okay. We're using one of her other favorites. I'm gonna kick off my bake and I am gonna set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder as well. She doesn't always set her face, but I need to, so I'm going to. But I am using a powder she likes. I'm just gonna go in with an e.l.f. powder brush and kind of tap it and then just kind of get the excess off. Don't need that much and just kind of set the rest of my face. My face is all set. I look a little bit less dewy, which is fine with me. And I'm gonna go in with one of Jessica's favorite bronzers, which is the Milani Sunlight Silky Matte Bronzer. I got this in the lightest shade, obviously. Ooh, that smells divine. It smells kind of like the Physician's Formula Better Bronzer, which I don't like. She said that this is really pigmented, so to go in with a light hand. So we're just gonna go in really light. Oh wow, that is really pigmented. I barely had any on my brush, but I, I like it. That is super pigmented, but I really, really like it. A little bit under here. And I love the smell of it. I don't like to go in super hard with bronzer because I do think that it can look unnatural. That looks really good. I really like that. All these products are going really well. Even like the foundation is growing on me. Not that I hated it before. It's just not usually my cup of tea. That's one of her phrases. This looks really good. I like that. So now I'm going to, of course, go into lips and I'm gonna use one of her favorite lip liners, which is also one of my favorite lip liners. I'm gonna go into the shade Most Natural in Milani Lip Liner. This is very dark on me. She has more pigmented lips, so it's a little bit more natural looking on her. Now I'm gonna go into a, a Revlon Lustrous Lipstick that she is super excited about. She loved the original ones, like that discontinued, I think like three or four years ago. So I got it in her preferred shade, which is Nude Illuminator. I'm not big into shiny lipsticks, but she is, so I figured it was worth a try. Smells like candy. Mmm. Very, mm, very comfortable. I think it's funny that they chose Nude and Illuminator for this shade because I think it's less of a true nude. I actually really like the way that looks. I'm surprised because I'm not really a big fan of like super shiny lipsticks, but like for a nice summer day, I feel like that'd look really nice. Yeah, I'm super pumped. So I just finished it all and I actually am really impressed with how much I like everything and how well everything performed. Now that everything is on together, it looks really, really good and I like it a lot. I feel very Jessica-ish today with my Jessica shirt on and my like Jessica-ish, natural-ish hair and my makeup. So yeah, I would definitely say this video is a success. It was a lot of fun to film and it was a lot of fun to try products that I wouldn't typically, you know, buy for myself. So yeah, I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell down below and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I am so excited about how well this video turned out. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.